What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Madden Ballers YouTube channel and our Georgia State Dynasty and NCAA Football 14. Week 3 of the 2015 college football season is here and Georgia State is taking to the road for the first time this year to face off against Sunbelt rival the University of Louisiana Monroe. Looking at the stats here, you can see Georgia State struggling again this year to score points. They only scored seven in week two, their first game of the year against Eastern Michigan. This game is on the road and in the rain. We'll see what happens. The game's about to get started, so let's send it down to the field. Louisiana Monroe will return the opening kickoff to get this game started. Lane's going to return this one out to the 25-yard line, and that's where Braille Brown will get started. Four TDs last week for him and 325 yards passing, so we'll see what he can do today in this rain game here. And his first play is a handoff to Devontae McNeil, who's going to go right side, cut it back up the middle, and gain 13 yards on that play. Later on, it's second down and 12. It's a handoff to McNeil who breaks the tackle, but gets stuffed on the second attempt for no gain. Third down and 13 now. Out of the shotgun here, Brown looking to pass. He's going to dump it off to his tight end who gains eight yards, but they would have to punt after that. Three and out there. Georgia State takes over. Reynolds in our young offense on the field now. Reynolds look to pass, and that one is nowhere near the receiver. Third down and 12 now for Georgia State. Reynolds out of the shotgun here looking to pass. Going to fire deep and that one is dropped by Moore. That would have been a first down. Instead it's a three down for Georgia State. And Monroe gets the ball back. Third and eight. Brown looking to pass here. Halfway through the first quarter. This one's going deep and this one's picked off by Robinson at the 41 yard line. And Georgia State takes over. Could they capitalize? Reynolds on first and 10 here. Rolling out. Firing deep and that one's deflected. Third and 15 now, Reynolds back to pass again. He's gonna fire but get hit, and it's a three and out for Georgia State. Later on in the first, first and 10 for Monroe, Brown back to pass here. He's gonna fire, and that one's picked off by Kyle Gary. Another turnover inside the 20 this time, and Georgia State has good field position to start this drive. Third down and six, with three minutes to go in the first quarter. Reynolds back to pass, he's gonna fire hit David Bailey down at the one yard line. That's a 12 yard gain. First down and goal. Reynolds under center here. He's going to pitch the handoff here to Romero and Derek Romero into the end zone for the two yard touchdown run. Puts Georgia State up 7 0 over Louisiana Monroe. Later in the first quarter here, Monroe has the ball back. Handoff to McNeil up the middle. A shoestring tackle there, but a gain of 14 yards on the ground. First and 10 now. Brown out of the shotgun. Read option. Not taken down on that tackle. Breaks another tackle. He's still going up towards midfield. Finally, on the third attempt, he's taken down. They would get the first down later on. Second down and 10 now. Brown back to pass. He's firing deep, and that one's caught by his tight end. And he's stiff-arming a defender to the ground inside the 10. Five touchdown, Monroe. But wait, there's a flag on the play, and this one's coming back. This is going to be a clipping play. That would set up second and inches, which they would eventually get. Second down and 13 now in this drive. And Brown's going to pass to his tight end again, who's going to stiff arm def our defender down to two yards before the first down. And that is how the first quarter ends. Monroe driving, but Georgia State ahead 7-0. Monroe is driving here to start the second quarter. It's third and two, and Brown out of the shotgun. Here's going to hand off to Devontae McNeil up the middle for the first down and more. A 10-yard gain on the ground in the rain here. First down and 10 now. Brown in the shotgun again. He'll hand off to McNeil again on the very same play on the other side of the formation there. Eight yards on that carry sets up second down and two on that play. McNeil's going to be stuffed in the backfield for a two-yard loss, setting up third and five. Brown in the shotgun now. He's looking to pass. He's going to fire before he gets hit. And his tight end catches that one for the touchdown. A six-yard TD catch. And that ties this game up at seven apiece. Later on in the second quarter, Monroe has the ball again. It's a QB keeper there. And Brown's going to get sacked for a one-yard loss. 
That would set up fourth and two, and they would decide at the 30-yard line to go for it, and Brown sacked for a three-yard loss, and the Georgia State defense holds up. Later on in the second quarter, Monroe has the ball again. Brown looking to pass this time on third and 12. He hits Devontae McNeil, and McNeil's going to be stuffed for a nine-yard gain there, but sets up fourth and three, and they come out on fourth down to punt, but it's a fake, and they're looking to pass here, and they're not finding anybody open, and it's going to be a fumble, and they recover, but it's a turnover on downs, and Georgia State takes over here with 2.50 to go in the half. First down and 10, Reynolds pitches to Romero, but he can't find any open room, and he's stuffed in the backfield for a three-yard loss. Third and 13 now for Georgia State. Reynolds in the shotgun all by himself here. Looking to pass, he's going to fire deep, and this one's deflected incomplete by Michael Stevens, and that would force Georgia State to punt, and that is how the first half ends. Georgia State and Louisiana Monroe tied at 7 going into halftime. Georgia State gets the ball to start the second half here. Tied at seven, first down 10. Reynolds gonna fire here over the middle. He's gonna hit Avery Sweeting there for a 10 yard gain. That's gonna give the Panthers a first down. On the very next play here, Reynolds dropping back to pass, rolling out, firing deep, and this one will be caught by David Bailey. He breaks a tackle, 10, five, touchdown Georgia State, and they go ahead on a 73 yard touchdown pass and catch. And you can see the Georgia State defense here, averaging only three yards per play against the Monroe offense there. And Monroe comes out here, second down and nine. Brown looking to pass, he's gonna fire, hit his tight end, which has been his go-to guy here for 15 yards and a first down. Later on, it's second and nine. It's a handoff to McNeil, up the middle, stiff arming a defender, first down and more down to the Panthers 42 yard line. Third and 16 now in this drive for Louisiana Monroe. Brown back to pass here, he's gonna step up, he's gonna fire deep and that one's picked off by Schroeder. The third interception of the day for this Panthers defense. This one would be returned up to the 35 yard line. See what the Panthers can do here with that turnover. Third and 10, Reynolds back to pass. He's gonna fire on the screen to Romero, and he's gonna get this one up the middle, but two yards short of the first down, a nine yard catch. So they would have to punt. Monroe takes over here on their own goal line here, and this one's gonna be stuffed in the backfield for a four yard sack. Second and 14 for Louisiana Monroe. Later on, it's third and 12. Brown back to pass out of his own end zone here. He's looking, he's firing deep into triple coverage and it's picked off this time by Dallas the fourth interception of the day for this Panthers defense they've shown up big in this game in the rain third and 14 now here late in the third quarter for the Panthers Reynolds fakes he throws deep this one's gonna be deflected by Robert Robertson and that one is ending the third quarter here Georgia State up 14 to 7 over Monroe 14-7 Panthers Georgia State up 14 to seven going into the fourth quarter here. Monroe has the ball. Brown back to pass on third and eight. He's gonna get hit and sacked and fumble the ball. An eight yard loss and Monroe would have to punt to Georgia State with seven minutes to go in the game. Second down to 10 for Georgia State. Reynolds back to pass on the screen play to Romero. He's gonna cut this one outside. First down up past midfield inside the 40. Broken tackle inside the 30. Taken down at the 23 yard line. Second down and 15 now. Reynolds is going to hand off to JJB up the middle, and he's stuffed for no gain, setting up third and long. On third down, Reynolds in the shotgun formation, takes the snap, looking to pass here. He's going to fire deep, and this one's caught but dropped by Moore. Could have been a first down. Instead, Georgia State punts. Monroe takes over third and five here. Brown looking to pass. He's going to dump it off here to Caesar, who's going to get upfield just enough for the first down keeping this drive alive for Monroe on third and 10. Brown out of the shotgun here, looking to pass. He's firing deep, and this one's picked off by Patrick Griffin, the fifth interception by this Georgia State defense, and they're going to try to run this clock out to seal this game up. Hand off to Derek Romero, cuts it outside, has the first down up towards midfield on a 15-yard gain. First and 10 now, Reynolds will hand off to Romero, cuts it up the middle there, and has 11 yards and another Panthers first down and the cheerleaders are loving this one. Third and 13 now, Reynolds in the shotgun here, looking to pass. He's going to fire this one to Romero, but he's out of bounds. Incomplete pass, 
and Georgia State has to punt. So one more shot for Louisiana Monroe in this game. First down and 10, handoff to Devontae McNeil. That's good for nine yards, and the drive would continue. They would get the first down, but later on it's third and 10. Brown back to pass. He's going to throw it just as he's hit, and that one's broken up by Patrick Griffin, and that would seal this ball game up for the Georgia State Panthers as they win this rain-soaked game against Sunbelt rival Louisiana Monroe, Tanner Strickland, your player of the game, seven tackles, five for a loss, three sacks, and a forced fumble on the day as Georgia State takes this game with a final score of 14-7 over the University of Louisiana Monroe to improve to 1-1 one one on the season. Taking a look at the stats from today's game, Georgia State dominated on defense, forcing five interceptions on the day to seal the victory over Louisiana Monroe. Looking at your players of the game, David Bailey, wide receiver, three catches for 90 yards and that 73-yard touchdown catch to start the second half there. Looking at some prospects here in the recruiting trail, Isaiah Johnson here. We're looking at him. We're number three on his board. He's a 69 overall middle linebacker here. He's got pretty good speed there. Kevin Howard here. We are number two on his board. He is a 55 overall, so a pretty low overall here, but maybe we can groom him into a good player. And J.D. Haas here. We are number two on his board. He is a Juco player, 61 overall. Has pretty good acceleration there, so we're looking at those players. We got three recruits that are ready to visit our school, so we will set those up. And next week will be against Old Dominion. We both come into this game one and one. This one will be back at the Georgia Dome. If you like this episode, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode.